Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's quick yet super useful tutorial, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to update your Figma desktop app step by step. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly where to look, how to check for updates, and what to do to make sure you're always running the latest and greatest version of Figma. Keeping your app updated might seem like a small thing, but it's absolutely essential if you want to access all the newest features, performance upgrades, and important bug fixes, so let's make sure you don't miss out. Alright, let's dive in. First things first, go ahead and open up your Figma app on your desktop computer. If you're anything like me, you probably have it pinned to your taskbar or dock and use it every day, but if not, just search for it in your applications and give it a click. It'll just take a second to load up. Once Figma is open, take a look up in the top right corner of the app window. You'll see your profile avatar or maybe even your initials, depending on how your Figma is set up. Right next to that, there's a little drop-down arrow, kind of easy to overlook if you're not used to looking for it. Go ahead and click on that drop-down. This opens up a small menu with several options related to account settings and application controls. In this menu, you want to look for the option that says Check for Updates. Clicking this tells Figma to see if there's a newer version available. It's a quick way to make sure you're not missing any cool features or important security improvements. And honestly, I recommend building a habit of checking this every once in a while, even if updates aren't rolling out constantly. It's like checking your car's oil or making sure your phone's operating system is up to date, simple but really important in the long run. Now, after you click that check for updates option, one of two things will happen. Either Figma will let you know that there's a new update available and prompt you to install it, or like in my case here, you'll see a message that says there are no updates at the moment. If there is an update, just follow the on-screen instructions. Usually it's as simple as clicking to download and then restarting the app briefly afterward. This process doesn't usually interrupt your work. Figma does a nice job of making updates as smooth and unobtrusive as possible. If it tells you there are no updates, you're all set. That means you're already running the latest version and you can continue working knowing everything's fully up to date. But here's a pro tip. Even if you don't see updates every time you check, get into the routine of doing this every so often, especially if you rely on Figma for your design projects or collaborate often with others. Sometimes, new features or fixes can make a big difference, especially if you are running into any strange behavior or bugs. Consider it part of your regular creative maintenance. And that's really all there is to it, super straightforward but incredibly useful. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or ran into trouble along the way, drop a comment below. I'm always here to help. Make sure to subscribe for more easy step-by-step -step tutorials just like this one, and happy designing.